What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, I'm Sin and welcome to my channel. Yeah, in today's video, this is like a, a hair vlog. It's not going to be a tutorial. Yeah, I gotta, now that I got a new camera, I got to learn to look at the camera and not over here. So let's, look at my skin. Ignore that. But yeah, y'all, so today I am going to be, it's like a hair vlog. So I have this blonde wig from my hair business well it's not really a hair business um it's more of a clothing business i used to sell hair but not so much but i still use my bender so it's a blonde wig it's a five by five 26 inch six thirteen wig yeah and we're gonna tone it but i'm still show you guys like what i used and how i did it just not like a tutorial just kind of showing y'all what i did so i'm gonna show you guys the parts that i use and everything like that and then we're gonna jump right into what I'm doing to get it the color that I want. So let's see if I can do it. So the products that I'll be using today to achieve this color is two boxes of Wella Color Charm T10, one box of Wella Charm, wait, of Wella Color Charm T27, a bowl that I use just for color. I'll be using 20 volume of the Wella Color Charm um, developer. It says to use 20, so I use 20. A wig that I use just for coloring and stuff like that. And then, of course, your 613 hair. As I stated, this is from my personal vendor that I use for my business. But any 613 wig could do. I have one on my channel that I reviewed a while back. So here we have the bottle. I mean, not the bottle. <laughs> here we have the bowl. And all I'm going to do is empty all three of the colors into the bowl. And then after I empty all three bottles into the bowl i'm going to take the 20 volume developer and fill up one of the bottles three times because that's what the instructions say for every bottle of um color charm the thing that you use you need to have one the same equal amount of um developer and then the video that i watched the girl actually put um water in her mixture to kind of thin it out and she also wet her wig so I did the same thing um if i could change some things and go back and do some stuff differently i definitely would have made it my business to you know really get into the wig here i put gloves on you know just to kind of help you know with my hands and all the other stuff because y'all chemical burn is real especially with bleach i learned that for real bleach really will burn your hands but anyway so yeah now i'm just dipping the wig in there like i said i wish i would have kind of you know went through really combed the product through because my hair was a little bit patchy but since you know it was just blonde going to a different shade of blonde it really you really couldn't tell you could tell but you can't tell you know it's not like crazy looking but that's one thing i would have back and did differently but as i put it through i tried to brush it through to distribute it it helped a little bit but not a lot <laughs> And it was already starting to tone, as you can see here. Because this is kind of the color that it really turned for real once it dried. But, like, looking at it from here, it looks like everything was covered. But, woo-wee, let me tell you, it was not. <laughs> yeah, you can see right there, like, I missed that spot right there. And you would think I would have caught it, but I didn't. But then, also, too, this right here was when I, I really messed up. So, during the time that I was letting the color process, I had decided to add um, the mixture that I put on the lace to kind of like tone the knots, whatever, whatever. Y'all, so you can see where I missed, was missing spots. And I'm like, oh gosh, see, I cussed right there. But, <laughs> but yeah, so my roots were dark, like I was trying to have roots. Then I had places missing color it was just a mess but i made the mess look really nice so yeah i was just like whatever we're just gonna work with it but in the end it turned out pretty nice though so hey this is the color and everything else I 
all right y'all so this is another time i had done wore the wig a few times um and i curled it not curled it like another video but curled it with um, a warm curl but anyway so this was the final look i enjoyed the color and this also was after a wash so of course the color was washed out a little bit i might go in and refresh the color try to get it everywhere who knows but yeah so if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe hopefully i will see you guys in my next video i'm gonna be trying to put out more hair content more um you know things just involving hair because i'm getting back into really liking to do hair so if you guys are looking forward to that make sure you um subscribe check out my hair playlist all of the other good stuff but yeah so hopefully i will see you guys in my next video this is it signing off peace